What's going on everybody? Happy Thanksgiving and what a Thanksgiving treat we just got last night. The first official trailer for Captain America Civil War finally dropped on the internet. Now folks, we've been waiting for this trailer for some time now. Marvel didn't show up at Comic-Con this year which left us without any footage of their upcoming movies. And then at the D23 conference they showed footage of Captain America Civil War but that was like three, three and a half months ago. So here we are now in November, late November, a couple of days before Thanksgiving, and we finally get our first look of live action footage from the upcoming film, which is gonna pit Tony Stark versus Steve Rogers, Iron Man versus Captain America. And boy, this trailer is awesome, and it is packed with a lot of stuff. I thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed this trailer. I mean, we start off basically with Bucky in Captain. As the trailer moves along, you can see that Bucky has pretty much come around. He doesn't do the things that he did in the Winter Soldier and it looks like Bucky and Captain are gonna be on the same side again they're gonna be reunited and gonna be best friends shortly after that we get that is Thunderbolt Ross who we have not seen since the Incredible Hulk movie in 2008 when he enters the trailer he pretty much stands on the opposition to what everything Captain America has done alongside with the Avengers he even goes as far as to call him a vigilante and you know that's just gonna set up a conflict and a tension between these two sides so Thunderbolt Ross in this movie has been upgraded to the US Secretary of State that means he has a lot of power. That means he can have a lot of control and influence on what's happening. And then as the trailer moves along, it looks like that Bucky's on the run. It looks like he is basically getting away from everything that's happening. And I'm getting a very similar tone to the Winter Soldier when Cap was on the run. There are even a couple of shots where you see Cap and Falcon. They look very incognito. They look very much in disguise like they don't want to be seen they don't want to be found and there's even a few points where it looks like cab is taken hostage and he's you know pretty much cornered and it looks like at one point his shield is even getting taken away so they're really hammering down on controlling him and controlling him as an entity that's going to work for the government instead of just having his own free-flowing unlimited unsupervised power and then out of nowhere enters iron man aka tony stark he enters into the trailer and we already see these two are not gonna get along. And I mean, really from here, we're just getting some incredible scenes throughout this trailer. I mean, we get our first official look at Black Panther. Holy cow. I mean, we saw him for like probably three scenes in this trailer, but they were the three best scenes. And the scene that I'm particularly talking about is when he's running on the freeway, it looks like he's ch chasing Bucky and he's actually being chased by a cap. It looks like a three-way chase on foot that's gonna be just like full of parkour and just incredible scenes. We also get some real badass moments from Falcon. He does some really cool like moves himself. Like there's a lot of really cool moments in this trailer. I mean, we get some of the team standoffs, we get some explosions, we get to see a lot of the characters in this movie. Not every character though, we didn't see Vision. We barely saw Scarlet Witch. So we get to see a lot in this movie, but they still leave a lot to be questioned about. And you know, I really, I really enjoyed the feel of this trailer. You can tell that this is another Russo Brothers Captain America America movie. It's not heavy on the CGI. It looks really, really heavy on the practical effects, the explosions, the fight sequences. It looked like it's going to be real gritty, hard-hitting action. And I honestly prefer that over heavy CGI. While I enjoyed Age of Ultron, it was laced with heavy, heavy CGI, especially since the villain was Ultron. But the Russo brothers being in charge of this Captain America franchise now, they are grounding everything and using as many practical effects as possible and it looks glorious. Of course, this leads to the final moments of the trailer, probably the most shocking moments of this trailer. You see this exchange between Cap and Tony where Cap basically tells him, I'm sorry I have to do this, but he's my friend. And Tony replies and says, so was I. And that leads into this incredible moment where you see Buck and Cap double teaming Iron Man. And I mean double teaming him legitimately kicking his ass in every way possible. You even see them exchange the shield between each other like they pass it off to each other and they are just hammering in on them. It looks like the end for him. But I can't forget this, even before that shot, you saw Iron Man holding War Machine in his hand. He looks hurt, he looks unconscious, he looks like he's in really, really bad shape. So I mean, overall, as I'm finishing up this trailer, you get the feel that this is a Captain America movie. Even though it's gonna be Cap versus Iron Man, that's the main premise and that the Civil War is happening, this is still a Captain America movie. And I am thoroughly happy to see that that is the case because Captain America The Winter Soldier is still the best movie in the MCU. And I'm very, very glad the Russo brothers are using a lot of the same formulas that made that movie successful, putting it into, into this movie bringing in a lot of different heroes into the element, but it still feels like a Captain America movie at heart. Because at the end of the day, 
the the main overarching storyline that's existed through all of Captain America's movies is the relationship between him and Buck, his best friend. So I'm really glad that that's going to be thoroughly explored in this movie. Now, of course, there's people out there who are saying that this movie and this trailer is going to be better than Batman v Superman. Of course, you got to have the argument of what's going to be better, which movie's going to make more money, blah, 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 blah. I mean, at the end of the day, who cares, really? Who cares? Because you know who's going to win? We're going to win. The fans are going to win. Never before did I think we were even going to see these type of movies on screen together. Nonetheless, if they're coming out in the same year, like six weeks apart, we're going to win, the fans are going to win, and the studios are going to win because they're going to make the big, big bucks. Both of these movies, Batman v Superman and Captain America Civil War, are more than likely going to break a billion dollars a piece. Who cares? Everybody wins. There's a, there's nobody that loses in this situation. I'm not a Marvel fan. I'm not a DC fan. I am a comic book fan. I want to see everybody succeed as much as possible. I want both of these movies to su succeed. Even though the Batman v Superman trailer is still the best trailer of 2015, I still give props to this trailer. I think it's going to be an amazing film. So if you haven't, I don't know why you wouldn't have already seen it, but if you haven't, please go check out this trailer. Go look at it right now. Treat yourself. It's Thanksgiving. This is a beautiful treat for us, the fans we've been waiting. I am so excited for Captain America Civil War dropping May 6, 2016. All right, folks, as always, follow me on social media, JRW, the creator, Twitter, and Instagram. Instagram, and then go check me out on my website, jordanrwilliams.com. I'll see y'all next time.